hope by now you guys have seen the direction I'm going with this furniture makeover just by looking at the title. Yes, guys, I am doing an anthropology style uh, furniture makeover. Anthropology dupe, I can say. <laughs> an anthropology dupe furniture makeover. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> today is the day I, I finally want to share with you this video guys i really have fun doing this and i am super super excited to share with you this video um i've been seeing the videos on anthropology furniture makeover on youtube that really inspired me to do this uh dress or makeover and um this is my inspiration up here this picture that you guys seen even though it doesn't look like the style sorry the design is not the same as this dress uh, dressers or whatever but this is my inspiration right there this furniture was never used guys as you can see there's still the pack of um excess um hardware that is still attached to the drawers uh yeah and i bought this furniture for next to nothing guys if i tell you the price you will not believe it this whole set of furniture that have that was never used I got the whole set for thirty dollars. I didn't even believe the price when I saw it. That's why I had to run and go pick up this furniture. I did pick up more uh, furniture from this lady. Uh, she said the furniture were never used. Um, it was only used to stage houses, and she was because of moving it around. That's why you see all those scratches on the furniture. But before I go any further, let me start by saying hello, my friends. Hello, my lovelies. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Dixie. Thank you all so much for stopping by this week to watch this amazing project that I'm working on. And to all my beautiful subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by. You all are loyal friends. And I am so grateful to have you in my YouTube family. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And um, I really appreciate you all. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't help forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. And guys, please, like I always say, please help my channel to grow by just interacting with my video leaving a comment down below hit the like button subscribe please <laughs> or the notification bell just interacting with my channel uh sorry with my videos help my channel to grow all right let's dive into this video and watch how i transform this uh beautiful bedroom set you all have seen in the um previously in the video i've already cleaned um this uh bedroom set as you all know i always clean my furniture really really good before i start working on it it doesn't matter if it's a new furniture and you you all have seen the towel it wasn't that dirty but you really need to clean the furniture whenever you're working on it so i'm using this wood filler bondo wood filler i'm new to this i've used it before <laughs> uh on one of my furniture makeovers which i will share with you how i feel about it um in one of my videos but this is my like i say this i'm new to it this is i think literally my second time using it so it comes in two parts that's the cream hardener that's what you apply on the wood filler mix it really fast and apply and i come to realize that if you put a lot of uh cream hardener it gets dry faster so you really have to work fast before this uh wood filler gets dry on you if not you'll be wasting a lot of wood filler because it happened to me the first time i use it i mix it before i um finish covering some of the scratches and the uh things that i was trying to fix on the furniture uh the wood filler gets dry so i can use it again and i have to mix another batch so since i'm going to be painting this furniture i am going to scuff sand the uh, furniture pieces meaning i'm going to lightly sand it down that was my intention but as you all can see 
up here i think i sanded a lot <laughs> after uh staying out i was i was just trying to scuff sand it uh so i can just remove the finish because i know like i said i was going to paint it after finishing sanding the furniture i just took a wet towel and um, i took a sorry dry towel and dust it out first and then use a wet towel to wipe it off really really good so i will be using this uh bing primer it's a slack shellac base primer that's what i'm gonna be using to prime this uh, furniture i'll be applying two coats of primer and i'll be sanding in between each coat i'm using a slug base uh, primer a stain blocker just to block uh, the stains or bleed through because i don't want to have any bleed through when i'm uh, painting this furniture that's going to be a headache because i have sent <laughs> as you all can see i have sent too much into the furniture <laughs> especially on the sides of the furniture like i said i was just trying to scuff sand it but i sand a lot of so this is how the first coat is looking like guys but it's okay it's gonna look better <laughs> now as of now as you can see i've applied the second coat it looks much better so what i'm doing is i'm gonna sand it down first before i apply the paint uh the actual paint color that i choose for this dresser so the paint color that i chose for this um furniture um, it's bare chalk paint and the color is ice water It's this light green uh, color and it's so beautiful I'll also be applying two coats of paint or three depending on how good um, the color is looking but I think two coats of paint will really work because I've already primed the furniture but we'll see I might be going with three coats of paint <laughs> because I want everything to look clean and smooth. If you know about anthropology furniture, it is the finish is really clean and smooth and shiny. So that's what I'm going for. Right now, I'm just testing my um, sprayer just to see if I get it on the right setting or not so before i start any painting i make sure i check my sprayer if it is on the right setting then i go ahead and spray paint i don't know if you guys can see but the color is like i said it's really light green uh, i'm painting outside and the lighting is not really good but when i'm done with the second coat you guys will see how beautiful this paint color really look like
So I end up applying three coats of paint because I wanted enough coverage of this um, furniture. Sorry, enough coverage of this paint. Uh, two coats of paint was good, but I wanted it to cover really, really good. Like I said, this paint color is light green. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> it kind of looked like light blue, but it's actually light green. Um, the lighting outside, like I said, I'm painting outside. The lighting is not doing this justice, seriously. It is a beautiful light green color. After I apply my last coat of paint, I just let it dry completely and come in with a 400 grit sandpaper and lightly sand it down just to make the area smooth for me to seal this furniture, sorry, this paint. So I'm using a water-based polyurethane gloss because I want this furniture to be shiny and smooth and <laughs> beautiful, I can say. If you guys have seen the pictures, most of the anthropology um, style that I'm going for, it is really glossy. So I want a glossy finish. That's why I'm using the water-based polyurethane gloss instead of satin. That's what I always use when I'm um, covering a chalk paint or a furniture. So yeah <laughs> so i'll be applying two coats of polyurethane to cover this um furniture but guys as you all can see what i'm pointing at mm, i messed up this really bad the first time i applied the, <laughs> the polyurethane this is what happened I was in a hurry, it was getting dark, and I went in there, I didn't set up my um, sprayer, like I always say, just to set it on the right set setting. I went in there, then set it up, and I started spraying, so the polyurethane was dripping, guys. So I had to come in with a clean towel and wipe everything. And from here, <laughs> the best thing I can do is to sand all this off, sand it smooth luckily the paint didn't come off so i am going to sand it smooth and just apply just another coat of paint this is what i'm doing right now i'm just sanding it smooth and apply another coat of paint and then lightly apply the polyurethane again <laughs> which was a headache but really the end product was really good it was just a huddle so it uh, it happens guys it happens you make mistakes and like i said this is my first time doing this it seems like the glossy finish is i don't know i'm not gonna blame it on that i was in a hurry it was getting dark like i said and i wanted to finish this um this uh, furniture makeover so bad because the way it was looking was just beautiful i w couldn't wait to see the end product so the, what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna apply, lightly apply another coat of paint and let it completely dry, come back and sand it down a little and then apply two coats of polyurethane. So right now I'm lightly applying the polyurethane. Um, I've set up my sprayer to the right setting <laughs> this time. So I'm lightly applying the uh, polyurethane and um, let it completely dry, come back again and apply the second coat of polyurethane. I end up applying three coats of polyurethane because I wanted this furniture to really uh shine guys literally i wanted it to really shine 
right now uh what are you looking at the back of the furniture as you can see it was damaged so all i did was just um take this um board that i have in my wood stash in the garage <laughs> and then cut it to size and bring it to cover this uh, backing of the furniture so i made a new uh backing for this furniture sorry for this dresser <laughs> So now we are coming to one of my favorite part of this video, just unboxing this um, draw pools or draw knobs that I got from Amazon for this um, dresser makeover, this anthropology style draw pools. I couldn't wait for this box, sorry, for this to be delivered to the house because I wanted to see exactly how they look. And this is amazing. This was expensive. This was... Uh, the most expensive uh, stuff that I got for this dresser makeover and it's one of the most expensive drop pools that I've bought <laughs> to make a makeover but it's really worth it the price is worth it as you guys can see this crystal and gold draw knobs oh my god this is beautiful I bought two different size of um, draw knobs the small size is going to be on top of the drawers the dresser drawers and the bigger size, size is going to be on the bottom drawers and the nightstands let me open this so you guys can see how beautiful this one looks too it's the same style but this one is wider and it's longer look at that this is beautiful sorry it's not wider it's longer than the other one So it's time to install these beautiful draw knobs guys as you can see it looks so beautiful just installing it looking at I just have to stand back after installing the first draw knob just take it all in look at look how beautiful this draw knob stand out uh, sorry complemented this um, color this light green color and just give this dresser this beautiful new look I was so amazed to just look at it guys look how beautiful that looks look at that oh my god I can't wait to show you guys how beautiful this dresser turned out <laughs> let me continue just fixing the draw knobs and I'll show you guys the finished product which is my favorite part of this video Now, before I show you my favorite part of this video, let's remind ourselves how this dresser looked like before this amazing dresser and nightstand, the complete set, how it looks like before. And now here is the dresser, guys. Like I said, this is my favorite part of this video. This is, look how beautiful this dresser turns out, guys it is clean shiny and the draw knobs are so beautiful the crystal just complemented the crystal and the gold color just complemented this beautiful light green um paint color 
like i said it is really light green when you look at it in person but my lights i guess <laughs> are not doing this paint just it's but the, but just looking at it like that it is beautiful guys look how beautiful this look it is clean and shiny and glossy this is my favorite my favorite i can say furniture makeover guys i have a lot of favorite but by far this is my favorite guys i have worked so hard on this dresser guys it looks so amazing and i know i'm gonna have more favorites in the future but by far this is my favorite like i said what do you all think let me know on the comment down below and let your girl know how she did this time and thank you all so much for coming by to watch this amazing anthropology dupe furniture makeover i hope you like sorry i hope you enjoy this video the same way i enjoy making it god bless you all thank you all once again so much for coming i hope to see you all in my next video you all stay blessed this is your girl dixie saying Bye, till next time. Now, let me present to you the man behind this amazing music that you hear on the background. My husband, thank you all. Thank you so much for being so supportive and thank you so much for helping me in this journey. God bless you. I love you. Thank you.